It's so hard to describe just how much of an all-encompassing feeling it is and just the power of it. You're in a sea of trees. Like, this is a tidal wave of energy and you're supposed to stop it. No one's coming to help. You are the help. Wildland firefighting and forestry for indigenous peoples and then for the Métis, from my experience, it's a way to reconnect with the land that you're a part of. Being out there and lost in the vastness of Western and Central Canada, where the Métis people are from, and it, it, for me, that's how I connect to my heritage. I'm uh, Métis from the Peavine Métis settlement. My grandfather was a firefighter, and I got that in me also. I'm a hard-working farm boy that's a firefighter. But when my dad did it, you know, basically that was the only income then. When I did it, it was pure love. What does it mean to be a Métis man? What does it mean? Uh, you know what, I think it means a connection to the land that sometimes I think is underappreciated. If you're out just living on the land, you don't realize that some people don't get that opportunity. And so I've always had an appreciation for the balance of nature. You can manipulate it all you want, but at the end of the day, it comes down to Mother Earth and what she'll provide for you. It is always a source of food, uh, shelter. We're all connected like uh, with the animals, with each other, with their surroundings, the, the earth. And so it, it was very important to me that uh, we look after it. Growing up, I didn't have a whole lot of connection to the Métis Nation. So uh, my experience being a, a Métis man is, it's just constant discovery of your history, your past, and uh, where you kind of fit into everything. Once I started firefighting, I discovered a way to work alongside um, you know, Métis peoples and on their lands and kind of establish myself in the community and get back to my roots. My native background has taught me, you know, to respect the land, to respect the creatures on it. When I look at an animal, I look at them as equal because I know how it felt not to be equal. Earlier on in our Canadian history, it was not such a good thing to be either Indigenous or Métis. I've got to be honest, it's still a struggle. For me, as an Indigenous person, it's about helping my people uh, get up on our feet and try to help our culture move up in the, in the world. Although we, we, we have a rich history in Canada as far as uh, our contributions, like, and it's starting to finally come out now, which is, a, which is a good thing. Over the last 10 years, we've seen lots of change with the Métis Nation and just Métis people coming out and being proud of who we are. The Métis National Council is really the national body to promote the rights and the voice of the Métis people. The council's been doing a lot of work in environment, conservation and biodiversity, climate. A lot of Métis people are doing interesting and creative and innovative work to address climate change, which also then addresses conservation and addresses species at risk and health and well-being because it's all interconnected. The one thing that makes Métis people different than other people is, is their culture and climate change is affecting what people are practicing, how they're using the land. When you're talking about people who, who their connection to the land is their culture, is their identity. You know, they've evacuated several Métis communities for wildfire and not everybody returns to their community once it's lost. If they don't return to where their identity is held, then it's, it's lost. What we're trying to do is protect communities, protect people. It's, it's, it's intense, like uh, the, the smoke is thick and it's hard to breathe, it's hot. You're trying your best to uh, do your job despite those conditions, but the adrenaline gets you, gets you going, so being the, the steward of the land is always important. You're not only protecting your family, your community, but you're also protecting the animals in the land, and there was a certain level of uh, pride in, in that. 
Traditionally, First Nations and Métis people have been doing prescribed burning. There's evidence that shows that that has direct impact in reducing the effects of wildfire. Proper forest management and Indigenous Métis knowledge about, you know, how to support and maintain forests will reduce the impacts of climate change. Giving respect to that history and that knowledge of putting fire on the land and getting back to Indigenous burning practices and no longer going with the European colonial fire management program, the effects of that are, they're amazing. They're, they're, they're bringing deer and, and berries and all these means of life for Indigenous communities back to them. And uh, the opportunity there for healing and a place in the future of Canada, a place in the future of climate change and a voice in all this is huge. You can still contribute in, in a way that brings everybody together and gathers around this knowledge that doesn't come from anybody, it comes from the land. It's from what you belong to, not what belongs to you. Métis people, we have a lens that we see on both worlds and, uh, and gives us more insight to me personally. I, I think that I was gifted to see both insights. When growing up, I didn't see it that way, but as an older man, I, I do. Take leadership in the environment and speak up about it and protect it. You know, it's our job. To me, I, I take it personally. I think I'm very blessed to have the culture I have and, and the job. I think we have the greatest job in the world.